How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm here to show you the modifications that I did to my belt. Uh, I have a, a couple of previous videos that I did and this would be the final video maybe on this belt since I finished it. Like I was talking about before on this belt this piece here comes very thin and it was starting to crack little by little so I didn't want it to break off and to drop the gun because that's a very expensive gun so in the western days the quality uh, belts for this type of holster they had a lot of material here like that if it started wearing and tearing it wouldn't break off because it would give you enough leather for the damn belt to last you know for many years but because uh, today's manufacturers, they're looking to cut corners and make quick money. You know, they want you to buy a crappy belt with almost no material here. For when it does break, you order another belt from them. And they make a lot of money and you lose out because these belts ain't cheap. So what I did, uh, in my other videos, you're going to see that I took uh, my Harley Davidson bag and I cut out a piece of leather and I reinforced it. Okay, I'm looking for the screws that I used. You see these screws? I got them at Lowe's. This is what, how they look. You screw them in and they're both flat on each side. Uh, I can give you the part number, but then I got to jump over. I got to jump over and here it is. Okay, sorry. These are the, the bags that I bought. You see how they come in a bag? I got them from Lowe's. Let me see if I can get my hands in one of these. They were like $89, $89, $0.89 $0.89 uh, a bag. This is the bag. This is the part number. You see? Okay, they're in aluminum. They cost 89 cents each. I bought like $10 worth of this. I think I bought like 10 uh, of these little bags. And when I go to Lowe's, I'm going to pick up a couple of more and keep them around because they come in handy. Okay, so going back to this. Those are the screws that you see on that. And right now, they're, they're in aluminum look. But not now, later on, when I have time, I'm going to get a, a flat black uh, spray can and spray these. So they're, they're screwed on right now, but later on, I'm going to take them apart, spray them, let them dry, and put it back together like that. You don't see these show. Okay? And then, because uh, on this belt, when I used to wear it, it was a little bit loose, so I had to move it back a little bit. So I took the stitches out, I removed the original rivets that was on here, and I used these same setup to put back in here. And then these here, from the back, I put thin CA in the back. See, thin CA? This, is, this, is, this would be the back part. So you see the thread there? You shoot one or two drops of this CA in there. And this will never break loose again, then unless you use a heat gun. If you get like a soldering gun and you heat up the back of this, it'll break the glue loose. It'll burn the glue and you can remove it without destroying the belt. So this part here, I had to unstitch it because it was forward. So right now, because we're going through the corona crap, I can't go out the house and I can't go to places where I really want to go. But later on, when everything clears, I'm going to go to a leather uh, maker and I'm going to have them re-sew this but by hand because I want them to put the needles in the same original holes that are here and re-sew all of this. So what I did is the you see the, the two holes, but if you take this screw and put it here, that's where the original hole was. So it was moved back a half an inch. 
that's it and now when I wear it it's exactly where I want it you know it was good just a little bit on the loose side you know I can wear it for the range and you know to shoot the gun great but if I'm riding a horse and I jump off my horse and I go running I'm gonna drop the belt with the gun so I resolved that that's not gonna happen anymore So this is the back of the leather, you see it? And the way these screws are made is that they don't rip your clothes off and they don't rub up against your waist, you know, you don't feel no scrapes, you don't feel anything. So now this belt is where exactly where I want it to be. I'm going to put the phone down just for a moment to remove the gun out of the holster. Oh, and one more thing. On my previous video, I, I when I was filming, I wasn't thinking. But when I saw the replay as I was watching it, when I come home from work and I sit in my living room to get comfortable, I open my pants and my zipper. To, like right now, my zipper is open and my pants is open because I like to sit comfortable. So on my previous video, I saw myself with my zipper open and my pants loose. And I'm saying to myself, great, now everybody thinks it's going to think I'm a perv. Well, I wasn't being a perv. That's the way I come home and I like to sit comfortable. I like to loosen my belt, open my pants, open the zipper and let the pants stretch where I can sit comfortable because I got a beer belly. So when I saw the replay, I was embarrassed and it's on YouTube already. So I want everybody, if you see that past previous video, don't take it personal. I'm not perv. Uh, I'm not a perv. I was just uh, too comfortable is the words I'm going to use. Let me put the phone down. So when I saw the video, I couldn't believe I'm looking at myself with the zipper open. I'm saying, great. These people think that this guy is putting his videos on YouTube. He's a pervert. <laughs> and I'm not a pervert. Okay, here. So. You can see the leather, nice, on both sides, and from the back. So now this, if this not only this is not going to break, because this right here is supporting the holster. So this belt's going to last for a long time. Here, look at it. You see that? See the difference of, of the way it's supposed to be and the way it's not supposed to be? So when I paint these uh, flat black, nobody gonna see that. Even if I paint them, even if I paint them gloss black, they're gonna look real good. See it? That's what I was trying to do. Uh, these Western days and the old Western days, these belts had a heavy duty piece of leather down here to make sure that this didn't break apart. Okay, so I resolved that. And by the way, the bag, I cut it in the leather bag, just in case you Harley Davidson guys going to get pissed at me because I am a Harley Davidson guy. Here's the bag. You see, I didn't break it apart. What I did is that the inside, it comes with a big tongue. And the tongue goes all the way up here in the inner part. But because I really don't use this bag, and even if I was to use it, I didn't need all that. Tongue, so look. You see, I cut it in a way that the bag is still good. But yeah, it did have a, have a giant piece of tongue, and I removed the tongue out of the bag, but the bag is still usable. The only thing the bag can't talk because I cut his tongue off. See, it's got a, the perfect thickness that I needed for the for the holster, and I still uh, got the bag. You know, intact uh, without a tongue. So this is what I was trying to do. I showed you guys on my previous videos. The holster is done. All I need to do is paint these screws. These I'm not going to paint because with the original screws, they showed the, the chrome. The other ones are pressed in rivets. So, you know, all I did was move it back a half an inch. And I tightened the belt where I needed it. Now this this is this is an awesome belt. Now it's exactly where I want this belt to be. Okay. 
And back here, I'm gonna uh, behind this, I'm gonna put my initials and the year I was born. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna end it with a number seven because that's my lucky number. So I'm gonna put the year I was born, my initials, or maybe my initials, the year I was born, and then the lucky seven on the number seven in the back. So once I do that, you know, I'm not going to record it now. Maybe later on I'll record it or I'll leave it like that, whatever. Okay, so uh, this is E. Matthews Jet. I appreciate you guys watching all my videos. Like I always say, uh, my videos are for adults because cause I fly model airplanes and I run radio control cars. I ride Harleys. You know, I run uh, radio control speed boats. So YouTube thinks that I'm trying to entertain kids because they send me this nonsense on YouTube uh, wondering if I'm here to, uh, uh, what's the proper word? I don't want to be disrespectful. Entertain kids. Well, I'm a grown man. I'm not here to entertain kids. I'm an adult. All my videos are for adults only and not for kids. But at the end of the day, People can't control what other people watch, okay? So I can't control it. So whether YouTube likes it or not, I'm doing everything within my power to keep it clean, and they need to understand it, okay? I'm not a pervert. I have no interest in entertaining kids. You know, I'm a 58-year-old grown man. I got a grown daughter. Why the hell do I want to entertain kids for? But YouTube, that's the kind of dumb questions that they ask. So this is E. Matthews Jet signing out. I'm done with my Western holster. I repaired it because it was about to break off and I fixed that. So that's it. Signing out. Thank you.